What brings you to Space Tech Expo? Uh, today we're exhibiting our spacecraft Alina and the two lunar rovers, the Audi Luna Quattros, and showcasing a little bit what it means to bring infrastructure in space. Um, so this uh, project is part, a partnership with lots of other private companies. What other companies are involved? Uh, yeah, the companies involved in our program are some really interesting two new players like Audi and Vodafone, but also, of course, a lot of the companies that you would expect, you know, entities like the DLR, for example, a lot of universities like Technic University Würzburg, or people around the corner like Sizes, for example, who are also exhibiting here. So for us, it's kind of nice to see and showcase a little bit what collaboration helps and make these partnerships work. Especially, you know, we're private entities, so this is a, it's about a private mission to the moon, so really going back to the moon, but not in a classical way, but kind of trying it to do in a completely new way. Why is, this, uh, why, why is it important for you to be here at this event? For us, the space tech is really important to kind of connect to people, to of course get a connection to suppliers. What is also relevant for us is new hires. We need always need a constant flow of new engineers, so we like to see a lot of applications. And of course, we can showcase what we've developed in the past nine years, you know, what is the progress, and educate people a little bit about the mission to the moon happening in 2019, you know, what's going on and everything. What, uh, what changes have you seen in the space industry in the last few years? I think one of the biggest changes was towards private space exploration in a way that, um, you know, 10 years it started out that, you know, there was on the horizon something people doing privately. And today with companies like SpaceX, Jeff Bezos with uh, Blue Origin, you know, it's kind of an everyday topic. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of a given thing that they're private entities, even including us in this case. So um, that kind of is one of the biggest drivers. But on the really technical end, what I'm really seeing is a lot of uh, 3D printing, you know, like uh, manufacturing, you know, there's a lot of showcasing around here where companies show new light with materials like us, for example, for, uh, for the mission development. Yeah. What new technologies do you think we'll see more of? I think we will see a lot in the regards of uh, material science, with you know, um, part production with 3D printing, um, getting the mass down, but also things like, you know, in re really in terms of private space technologies like the LTE for, with, that we've developed together with Vodafone. So it's really something that you would not expect, but it's an industry technology which comes into the realms of space. So it's kind of an interesting connection, and I think there will be more of these coming up in the future.